years, and it's really difficult to start to think about that. I'm always amazed by people that know what they want to do. And I always remember the quote that some of my favorite friends that are 40 still have no idea what they want to do. But it's always important to start to think about it because life is expensive. Uh, gas keeps going up, food keeps going up, and all of a sudden, you don't have money left over to travel, go to the beach, have that two homes that you always wanted. So really start to think about what you want to do and start to do it now. Other things that really connect are getting to know your professors, right? Same thing, getting to know your teachers now. Doing some internships and shadowings. We have some that we offer here through our school. I helped them coordinate, so please ask me. I have about 35 new ones this year that HFL parents have said that they're willing to help out with. So it's a good community connection. As well as starting to look at some of the resources at SUNY Geneseo that they have to help students to narrow down what they want to do after college. What we are really proud to have this year is a program called Naviance. Our seniors already have usernames and passwords as well as our juniors. We're going into the sophomore classes this third week of March third, fourth week of March coming up, and a freshman will have it thereafter. But I wanted to run you through some of the programs that we have, just so you can have a takeaway. Where you say, that's really great to know that all these programs are out there, but I don't have access to them yet, and I don't want to wait till college. I want to start thinking about what I want to do now to have an idea about where I should go to college in terms of what majors are out there, how much I'll make, and things of that nature. So. On our website, we, our counseling website, we have an audience to our page. Hopefully your son and daughter can help you log in. You log in and you can go to careers. We also use this program for students to apply to colleges, so all our seniors use it this year, and obviously our juniors, surprisingly, will use it next year. But if you go to the careers section, and if you scroll down, we have a career interest profiler. So one of the questions, like, do you like to play baseball? Do you like to drive trucks, or would you like to? Once you take about 150 questions, it's going to come up with the different parts of your personality, whether you're realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, conventional. Your top three are going to be highlighted. What's cool about this program is it starts to link them to occupations. So these are people that have similar interests to you. For Clark Kent, he enjoys these different pro professions and they're actually linked by educational level. So how much schooling do you need? Can you do this job right out of high school? Do you need a two-year degree? Do you need a four-year degree? Do you need a master's or a doctorate? So you can go from being a child care worker, psychiatric aid, licensed, practical licensed vocational nurse, adult literacy, audiologist, and so on down the list to extensive. Well, let's look at audiologists quickly. What it's gonna do is gonna come up with some different ideas like an overview, knowledge and skills, some of your top five abilities. Are you good at orally speaking with people? Are you good at writing? What's really interesting is it starts to look at some of the different tasks you'll do during the day based on the US government's labor statistics. So it's not really just made up data. It's actually based on different US knowledge as well as Department of Labor, ODAP. Overview at the bottom, some of the professions will have similar professions and they'll actually have a video. So you can watch a quick clip about what does an audiologist actually do. Not every profession has this, but it's kind of cool to be able to really see, okay, you come to the waiting room, you make somebody back, you test your hearing. Because we have an idea that we watch TV. Once uh, ER was on TV, a lot of people went into the ER medicine. It's not always like that, same as law is order, a law and order to be an attorney. So these are some things to say, okay, this is what they actually do, it's pretty cool. And we also talked about wages. So depending on where you want to live, it's going to list the different wages based on the percent of people making that money. Obviously the people that start off, if you wanted to move to Arizona, you're going to make probably 12,000 when you first start, let's say, you can go up to 13 and 50% made 38 and so on. So depending on how much schooling you have, if they really wanted to hire you, how long you've been in the position, you're gonna earn different salaries. So you can think about when I start to when I finish and how a quality of life you wanna have. As well as this, we have 
Another career test you can take, personality type. And this one's pretty cool as well because we're just gonna look at is your interests, your understanding of yourself, your strengths and abilities, and some of your blind spots. So what are you strong at and what are some things you might not know about yourself that you can learn about yourself and get better at? And a lot of these questions have to do with larger statements that say, you walk into a dinner party, are you somebody that immediately mingles with everyone, wants to know everyone's name, wants to be the life of the party, or are you somebody that goes and talks to just a couple people? It starts to give you an idea of what your personality is like, and then again, we'll start to link it to different things about your career, your learning style, and again, allow you to start to look at some different jobs that you can click on and then see the description, how much you'll make, and look at some of the videos. So it's one tool we have to start to think about who you are, what's important to you, and for students that say, I have no idea what I wanna do, it links people with similar interests and personalities as you, the idea being if they like the same things you do, thinks the same way, you're gonna enjoy the jobs that they have. This, this is really nice. As well, one of people often asks, Mr. Fleming, college is so expensive. Syracuse University is $50,000 a year right now. That's the sticker price. Often people will get financial aid, need-based aid, scholarship grants, so I always say apply. You never know if you'll get some money to attend. Not everyone pays the full price, but this program, will allow you to start to look at different information on scholarships. So if you go under colleges, scholarship list, you can start to look through them. Scholarship match, go through the national ones. Here's some ideas, but national scholarship search is one that we previewed with the juniors, it looks pretty cool. It's gonna come up with a lot of different national scholarships based on things that you input. So are you a part of Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts? Do your parents work for a certain organization? Were they part of the military? Do you enjoy horseback riding or are you an ice skater? And it's gonna to start to show you some of the different scholarships as well as the dollar amounts, which I always wanna know about. And then it'll tell you whether you apply. So let's say I wanna go for the Princess Grace Award. It's for somebody interested in theater, dance, and film, and it's up to $25,000. So these are something that is really worth looking at, starting to put together your information now, because as we mentioned, a lot of it is networking, getting to know your professors, doing volunteer work, internships, shadowing, and starting to prepare the essays, the different questions so you can hit the deadlines. Because every year, we keep getting busier and busier with our school activities, home activities, outside interest, and it's nice to sometimes take a deep breath, relax, check this out so you make sure you're hitting the right times. Really happy about the software. Obviously, again, seniors and juniors have this info so you can look at this at home. Do the personality test, quizzes with them. You know, if you learn some really good information, sophomores will have it soon, and then freshmen thereafter, since it's a brand new program for us, we're really excited about. I think with that, I am a minute over my 8 p.m. I, I really try to stick to that. We have, it's really important for all our counselors. We're really happy so many people showed up today. And while this is in the future, a lot of you are going out to college. We hope you use the resources available to you there and the resources that we have for you as well. Again, a great thank you to Bert, to Stacy, and Susan for taking their time to volunteer to come up here. handouts that I will put out in the front. We had a sheet to say what you'd like to, what we can improve on for this evening. This is the first time we've done it. And they graciously said that they would stick around for some additional questions if you have any. Probably the best is to come and uh, ask personally, just so some people can leave if they want to get home for dinner and whatever else is going to happen in the evening. Thanks so much again for coming and have a good night.